Welcome to Behind the Syllabus, I'm Jordan Franklin. In today's episode, we're going to be looking at first year English professor, Eric Tucker. Uh, my name is Eric Robert Tucker. Um, I live, my wife and I live in Hastings, Nebraska. We live right across the street from Hastings College, where we both work right now. Um, I am uh, an instructor of English and uh, journalism. I was born in 1974 in Steger, Illinois, a small town uh, about oh about 50 miles or so south of Chicago. I was born in St. James Hospital in Steger, Illinois. So I am 38 years old. You were uh, my parents are uh, Faith and Robert Tucker. Well, for a long time, my mom was um, a stay-at-home mom, um, and my dad, for many years, he worked at a steel mill in, uh, in, in Illinois, near Chicago. Uh, U.S. Steel. He worked at U.S. Steel. Uh, there were massive layoffs um, at this particular company um, when I was young, and my dad lost his job. and and uh, which was a, a big deal for our family because you know he was he was the really the primary source of income. I was young, so I don't remember a lot of details, but I remember it being a difficult time. Uh, he got a job at a college in Indiana, the Ivy Technical College, and he got a job there as um, uh, uh, an advisor. I have five siblings. I have one older brother, uh, Bob. Uh, Tucker and I have four sisters. Uh, Sarah is the oldest sister, uh, Lisa is the next oldest, then Laura, and then I have one younger sister and that's Jamie. She's two years younger than I am. My brother is 10 years older than I am. You know when I was growing up he you know was a uh, uh, he was my I, pl I played baseball when I was a kid and he was always my baseball coach and he helped me with school, and it was it was nice having siblings. My sisters helped me with lots of stuff, and we also got into fights and things like that. And our big vacation when I was a kid was uh, we did one trip. We did one trip to uh, Disney World, Florida. That was our big trip. And then um, there's one other vacation that we did as an entire family, like all of us, my parents and all five of my siblings. Nipper Sink in Wisconsin. There's like this. Um, oh, I was pretty young. I don't remember all the details, but there was like this resort, I guess, like lots of outdoor activities like um, canoeing and things like that and so we did that as a family those were our really those were really our only two like family vacations were where everybody was part of it we were pretty we lived pretty close to Chicago and so we would do we would do like outings to like Cubs games every now and then and, and it's weird because I'm not really sure why our family uh, why, why, we're, why we're Cubs fans because we grew up on the I grew up on the south side of Chicago, and so most South Siders are White Sox fans. Cubs are on the north side, um, but for some reason we're, we're Cubs fans. Um, so Wagner Elementary, uh, it was nice because we lived in a house, and my parents still live in a house that's um, like half a block away, so we were able to walk to, walk to school every day, which was good. Um, I went to junior high at Rickover, Rickover Junior High School in Sauk Village. And then my high school was uh, Bloom Trail, Bloom Trail High School um, in, um, in Steger. That's where I graduated from. I, I played baseball in high school um, and played baseball my whole life, really. I mean, I started, my brother um, started coaching me in baseball when I was about five, I think. And then I just, I played through high school and really loved it. Although in high school, I remember feeling a little burned out. I had played since age five. You know how it is, summer baseball, little league, and so I, I played every single year. And by the time I got to high school, I was, I still liked to play, but um, you know, there were other th sports that I was interested in. I had one really good friend, I had, and I still have, he's still my friend. Um, his name's Dan Wojcik. We were both really into computers. Um, in those days, it was all like Commodore 64, and like the really early Apple computers. You know, we do other stuff. We were into soccer and, and, you know, baseball. And he's the one friend that I have from those days that I'm still friends with. So from fifth grade on, and, and we still, you know, stay in touch. And anytime I go back to Chicago 
to visit it. I always make a point of you know, trying to visit this friend. First thing I wanted to do would be uh, Indiana Jones. I decided that uh, that probably wasn't going to happen since he was like all fictional. When I was when I was young, I, I loved science. I, I my my plan was to go into science. The friend I mentioned, Dan Wojcik, he was also into science, and, and so we were uh, we were into model rocketry, for our big thing. And so we'd uh, we'd build these model rockets. You know, we'd we'd build the rockets, and then you'd buy the little engines that put in the rocket. Yeah, then they'd have the parachutes, and you have to go look for them afterward. And, um, I was one of the editors of our school paper in high school. It was wonderful. That was, uh, uh, in addition to playing baseball, that's probably my fondest memory of high school, is working on that paper. So that's, that's where my interest in journalism first uh, started. It was, I, I, think, I believe I started working on the paper my freshman year, and then by senior year, um, I was kind of co-editor. Now it's time for a professor Tucker to decide where to go to college. He was faced with a difficult decision. Go to a big university to be a legacy, or go to a small college and play baseball. I was pretty sure that I wanted to stay in Illinois. My older brother had gone to the University of Illinois down in Champaign, and that was one of my top choices. But then I also considered a couple of other schools in Illinois. Augustana College uh, in Illinois, um, or Knox College. A couple of these other schools um, would have given me the opportunity to uh, play baseball. So that made it difficult to decide. Ultimately, I decided to go to the University of Illinois. One of my older sisters um, was, was still there, so that was a big part of my decision and the fact that my brother had gone there too. My original plan in going to school was to uh, study science and, and in particular physics. So I chose, I chose the University in Champaign because uh, they were known for, for science. So when I first went to college, my my major was uh, physics. That was my major going into school. I'm in year two. Sometime in my sophomore year, I switched to rhetoric. Um, with an emphasis in creative writing and ultimately that's what I graduated with. I graduated with a bachelor's degree um, in rhetoric um, with kind of a creative writing focus. And I actually had a minor, my minor was uh, math. Because I had started out in physics I had accumulated so many math classes. By the time I, I was a senior I only needed a couple more math classes to have a math minor so I, I made that my minor. I lived in the dorms my first two years. Uh, it was Scott Hall. I met a lot of really great people who lived uh, on my floor. We had kind of a core group, I guess. You know, we hung out. Yeah, we, we were pretty inseparable for a couple years. Go to, go to sporting events and eat together. Go to the rec center and play basketball and volleyball and tennis. And had a, a, a girlfriend in high school. We continued to date after I went off to college. She did not go to the same college I did. You know, we were 18 years old, you know, and, and you know, oh yeah, you change a lot and you're still trying to figure out who you are and, and what your interests are. And after we broke up, I kind of went through a period where I, I really tried hard to focus on school, but the, the breakup really hit me pretty hard and ended up leaving um, college for a few years. It, it actually worked out really well. I was able to, to get some really good experience before I before I ultimately went back to uh, the university in Illinois and, and finished up. Um, and that's when I met my wife. So everything, everything kind of worked out. Well, I ha I've had a lot of great uh, professors. I would say some of my favorite classes at the University of Illinois were uh, my creative writing classes. I had some great, great professors. Uh, Michael Madonic was one professor. He's a, is a an accomplished poet, and I worked on the, uh, the newspaper. Uh, it was called The Daily Line. I, I wrote articles for them, mostly uh, um, local local news articles. I did a little bit of entertainment writing for them too. I think I did a couple of couple of, of columns, but mostly I did local news. But that, that was that was a great experience. It was two thousand and two when I got my degree from the University of Illinois. It's a long road <laughs> for me to, to finish that degree. I applied to and got accepted into a journalism master's program at uh, the University of Oregon. Just had a just had a wonderful time. That was a two-year program. When I was, while I was working on the journalism degree, I had an opportunity to uh, teach freshman composition. And that was really my first experience of, of teaching. That I was given uh, my own composition class to teach at the university. 
Professor Tucker, after graduating from Illinois, got a job at a nearby publishing company, moved to Phoenix, Arizona for a year, and returned to Illinois. That's where he met his wife. Though she cannot be on the show, Professor Tucker talks about her. I'm married to Patricia Oman. Um, we were married in March of 2002. We were married in Urbana, Illinois, and we both worked at a publishing company there. I had worked there for a number of years and then left. While I was gone, Trisha started working at that company. So I eventually moved back to Champaign, Illinois. The publishing company rehired me. Trisha and I worked in the same department. She was actually my, my boss at the time. We helped put together textbooks and uh, the company did a lot of work with um, like academic publishers. So we did textbooks and journals and things like that. We got along really well and just, you know, I asked her out to dinner one day and, and, and she said yes. So we went, went out on our first date and went out to dinner. I don't recall it being um, something that I had planned um, and it wasn't really something that I necessarily initiated. I think um, my memory of it is that uh, we were just uh, talking, just having a conversation about the future and we both just kind of came to the conclusion that um, it just made sense. We decided to run off to the courthouse and get married. Um, no, no, we don't have any kids. We have our dog. Um, we, our dog is kind of our kid. And, but I think, you know, at some point in the future, I think we'd, we'd like to... Um, I mean, we both like kids a lot. Our interests are pretty, our, like our pastimes are pretty, pretty simple, straightforward. I mean, we like to go for walks, we like to go on hikes, we like to, uh, you know, uh, take our dog, you know, pack a lunch and take our dog out and to the park and have like a picnic. Up to this point, Professor Tucker had not heard about Hastings College. Let's find out how he ended up here. The thing that inspired me the most, that my, my sixth grade teacher, Mrs. Nowie, she was a finalist for the uh, Teacher in Space. That was the program that uh, Christy McAuliffe, the teacher who, who was on the uh, Challenger that exploded, that was the program, the Teacher in Space program. We were watching the Challenger launch on TV during class um, and uh, saw, saw it explode and, and of course everyone on board was killed, and including the teacher who went up. That was a pretty powerful moment. She was, she was very inspiring and, and she, I remember, uh, at, even after the explosion, after the uh, after everybody died, um, she you know she made a point of telling her class, you know, if they selected her to go up on the next shuttle launch after Challenger, she would do it in a heartbeat. I, I suppose she did inspire me to continue to uh, that interest just in in, in in space and science, and I think she also um, you know uh, should get she should get some credit for. Uh, inspiring my interest in, in literature as well. No, Hastings College uh, it w wasn't our first uh, teaching job. Um, we both we both taught uh, at the University of Oregon. My wife taught uh, uh, composition and and literature courses and film courses, and I taught uh, I taught composition. And then um, my wife uh, taught uh, at the University of Illinois at Springfield, and I taught at. Western Illinois University. I actually was an adjunct at the University of Illinois at Springfield um, in spring of last year. Well, my, my wife um, applied for a job here last year and uh, Hastings College is one of the places that advertised for a tenure track position in, in English and she uh, uh, sent her CV here and, and, and uh, uh, was invited to do a campus visit, became finalist for the position, and then was offered the position. And uh, in her discussions with uh, the administration here, we found out that there might be um, uh, there might be a chance for me to do some teaching here as well. That definitely made uh, the transition easier for us. I have worked here for um, almost um, one year. Um, my wife and I started in, we're in our first year, we're finishing up our first year. Um, well, my, my responsibilities this year uh, have included teaching uh, composition, um, English 100, and I've also taught journalism 100, uh, news writing fundamentals. Uh, another thing I'm doing this semester is working with the other faculty members in this department, um, which is, is led by uh, Dr. Auntie Anderson, um, to uh, try to um, oh, try to we're, we're doing the best we can to make English 100 uh, the best. 
class that it can possibly be because it's for a lot, for a lot of students it's the only writing class that they're going to take here. And without a doubt, um, my favorite part is is the student interaction. And for me, um, for someone like me, I have no natural talent at you know being in front of a group of people and delivering a lecture or talk or anything like that. But what I do really like. Um, uh, is is helping students with their writing uh, uh, in you know like a one-on-one -on -one sort of situation. Um, the most difficult part for me um, is honestly kind of overcoming that natural anxiety I have at being in front of a group of people. I, I have kind of that that natural uh, nervousness that uh, that uh, that I experience anytime I'm like the focus of attention like in a situation like this for instance <laughs> I mean it makes it makes uh, it certainly makes teaching interesting having you know having that sort of anxiety um, I'm always kind of battling that thanks for watching behind the syllabus next week's episode we're going to be meeting with Dr. Kane stay classy college I'm out